Today we have Oakley Airbrake motocross goggles versus the Oakley Frontline motocross goggles. The reason why I wanted to compare these two and uh, kind of take a deeper look at these is that uh, right now there's quite a few sales I've seen on Rocky Mountain ATV and Motorsport and BTO and so first, a little bit about the air brake goggle. This, uh, when this goggle was released about five or six years ago, it was a game changer. It really changed what we thought uh, motocross goggles could be because it was one of the first to come out with a rigid frame and a rigid lens. They call it plutonite, which is a fancy word, their proprietary blend of polycarbonate, which is like a sunglasses rigid hard lens. So it's pre-curved and it fits into a frame that is also the same curvature, both rigid. To switch the, the lens is extremely easy. It has these, these two tabs on each side. Um, they pop out, you pop the lens off, and it's, it's as easy as it can be. For that reason alone, it was extremely popular. It's one of my favorite goggles I've, I've had, easy to maintain, clean the lens, clean the goggle itself. And then wearing it, the, uh, because of the rigid structure of the whole goggle when you put it on it really has a an even pressure um, across your face no matter how tight you get the straps so that was something i liked a lot because some goggles you get them strapped down really tight get a nice seal but then they put a lot of pressure on the bridge of your nose feels like you can't breathe so these i feel like because there's even pressure it's i mean hands down it's probably my favorite goggle obviously the biggest drawback to this goggle the air brake is that when it was introduced, it was $200. Now, depending on what lens you want, it's 200 to 220, 230. And uh, that's a lot of money, especially when this goggle was released. Premium other goggle brands, you know, that was 60, maybe 70 bucks for the top of the line goggles. So it was kind of um, a gut check when this came out to how expensive they could be. But then they came out with the front line. So as you could see, it has a whole different look than the air brake. And there's a couple things on here that are different. Depending on what features you care about, this actually might be a better goggle for you than the air brake, and it's cheaper. So we'll start with the, the price. It is, depending on the lens that you get, $130 to $150. Still an expensive goggle, but cheaper than the top of the line air brakes. So one of the main differences with the front line is basically it still has a rigid lens, just like the air brake. It is their plutonite, their polycarbonate, um, and it also comes in the prism, which is a, a higher contrast uh, lens, which is actually really cool. But the main difference is, is that the frame is flexible, just like a standard goggle frame. And the retention system is very similar to a standard goggle. There's a ridge on the back of the lens, which slots into the frame. You can see back there that this plastic piece then slots into a, a channel around the frame, much like a standard motocross goggle. And as you could see, these frames are very flexible. Again, like a standard motocross goggle. There's something that, that is a little bit different too about these two lenses is the fact that the radius is different. On the air brake, the radius is a little bit smaller. So it actually has a bit more of a curvature to it. And so what that does is it puts the center of the the lens a little bit farther away from your face and it brings the edges of the goggle a little bit more wrapped around. When you look at these two, you can kind of see that the, the front line on top, the air brake on the bottom, air brake has more of a curve than the front line. And when you're wearing it, what you notice is that the, the air brake could have a little bit more peripheral view because it wraps around a little farther. What I think is an advantage with the, the front line is basically since this whole thing is a lot more flexible, I feel like it fits a, a wider range of faces better. Um, if you have like a really kind of big nose that's like a big ridge or something, or really flat face, having a more flexible goggle is better to get a seal. When you're riding, kind of the, the only real difference that I notice with these two goggles is that I think the air brake vents a little bit better, a little bit more airflow, just because the, the, the goggle lens itself has some vents and then the frame has these intakes. Um, this frame is a, more of a, a standard frame and the, the goggle itself doesn't have as many, um, doesn't have any ventilation holes or anything in the lens. I know it's personal preference, but I also really like the look of the front line over the air brake 
um, just aesthetically. It has a nose uh, guard that I removed, but uh, if you want a nose guard, it comes with one. If you're looking to save maybe 50 bucks, save a little 80 bucks, you know, right now is a good time to save some money. I would say that the, the fr Oakley Frontline is probably my second favorite goggle that I've worn, and that's right behind the air brake. And it's, it's definitely an expensive goggle, but it's definitely worth the money. You get what you pay for with the quality of the Oakley products. And um, there's a lot of different lens choices. And the protection obviously is extremely high with these super thick flutonite polycarbonate lenses. And I would say maybe, maybe the only other difference is since these aren't, this lens isn't technically locked into the frame, there might be a possibility of it coming loose or popping loose if you take a rock really hard. But I think that would be highly, highly unlikely the way that this fits in there. Um, it is impossible on the air brake. This is the way that this is locked in there. Um, it is, has a physical lock on both sides of the, the goggle for the, the lens and that's not gonna ever pop out of the frame. So that is uh, another um, difference between them. If you do wanna save a few bucks, don't shy away from the, the front line because performance wise, uh, extremely high performing, nearly the same performance as the air brake, uh, just a little bit different look if you like that. And sure, you do have to finagle with the lens a little bit more to get it in and out. Yeah, I hope you uh, learned a little bit more about the two premium goggles from Oakley that they offer. Um, hopefully you could find a deal out there. If you're on our website, please check out our YouTube channel and hit subscribe. If you're on YouTube, you can go to vitalmx.com, check out all of our different product reviews, bike tests, and lots of other videos. Thanks for watching.